Hi, I'm Steve from HPC Laser and today we're going to be taking a look at something that we're very excited about. Laser welding. Most people will have seen laser welding on social media and you've probably wondered, is it really as good as it looks? Um, well, we've been working on fibre laser welding for a little while now and um, just give you a few insights into what we've found so far. So this is the welding machine itself. It's touchscreen operation. Um, the entry door to the cabinet is key locked so you can establish authorization levels. And inside the cabinet, we've got the laser source itself. This machine's a two kilowatt machine. And again, you can see we've got keys on the laser source so we can restrict operation to authorized and trained people. And then underneath, we've got a water chiller that keeps everything nice and cool. It's closed circuit, so there's no need for an external water supply. Like other forms of welding, um, we've got a shielding gas here um, and regulator, and we are using 100% argon, just industrial argon, uh, which is cheap and readily available. And then, like conventional MIG, we've got a wire feed unit, which is uh, compatible with different spool sizes and different wire types. Um, this is touch screen, and we can vary between different wire speeds, infinitely variable wire speeds and pulse and continuous feed as well. Now, in terms of material compatibility, this machine as standard is suitable for welding carbon steel, stainless steel, aluminium, brass and copper, with or without a filler wire. And in terms of power, this is a two kilowatt machine. And we found we need roughly 400 watts per millimetre thickness of material full penetration. So a two kilowatt machine is capable of welding about five millimetres carbon steel, stainless steel, slightly less on aluminium, and aluminium needs a little bit more power than the same brass and copper. The first thing with laser welding, as with many other industrial processes, is safety. Now, the thing with laser welding is the wavelength of the laser is right slap bang in the middle of retinal damage range, which means if you're to point the fiber laser directly into somebody's eyes, you'll probably cause them permanent eyesight damage. Now, this is easily mitigated with welding masks, but not an ordinary welding mask. This is a welding mask that's fiber laser compatible. So, so this will break down all fiber laser wavelength before it reaches your eyesight. And it will also deal with um, infrared and UV radiation as well, like a conventional MIG helmet would. Other items of protective equipment you're going to need are usual welding gauntlets like you would do with MIG or TIG. Uh, and I'm not wearing them at the moment, but flame retardant overalls. Flame retardant are preferable to regular overalls. This, this heat involved in a fabrication shop, so that's good practice. Now, in terms of operator safety, there's similar precautions to laser as, as there is with MIG. So there's optical hazards and you need to think about uh, segregation of the operation from other people in the area. Now, this would come by way of your own site-specific risk assessment, um, which may come up with recommendations such as safety enclosures, switches on doors, warning beacons, that kind of thing. So our machine incorporates three external safety circuits Compatibility, so you can connect it up to three, three separate safety devices, like switches on doors, um, and there's also the facility to drive a warning beacon from the machine uh, if you want to have that kind of warning system outside the enclosure. So, advantages of laser welding that we've found so far it's very fast um, and you get very aesthetically pleasing welds. Even with full penetration, you get very low profile welds. Um, and zero spatter, so there's no post-processing at all. That's just had a very light brush um, with a wire brush and, and it's fantastic. There's a real de-skilling of the operation. And what we found is people who've never welded before can often put down welds that are superior to skilled welders. Skilled welders try and weld, weld with this system, but all you really need to do is pull the trigger and, and let the wire feet move your hand. Another one of the advantages of laser welding is the heat affected zone in a weld is very, very small. Because we're moving so quickly and the heat's very localised, 
Um, if you're welding thin materials, there's practically zero distortion. Um, and as you can see from this part, um, there's very, very little heat that actually radiates throughout the component. And something else to think about as well is electrical consumption. So we haven't actually quantified what the comparison is between laser and MIG. But what we know so far is laser uses significantly less energy than MIG. Um, and what we'll do is we'll do some analysis on this and we'll cover it in a video at a later date. So one of the major advantages of fibre laser welding is this practically zero spatter, which means there's no grinding, no polishing, no spatter bashing after you finish your welding. So there is an argument that laser welding is actually safer than conventional methods because there's no vibrating tools, there's no rotating discs, and there's, uh, there's very little post-processing required. And unlike MIG welding, there's no molten pull to watch. Um, you can literally weld with your eyes closed. Just to prove the concept of laser welding being very easy to, to use and to learn, um, and for very little experience to be required. Um, this is Tom from our sales team. Tom, have you got any experience in welding? Never, no. So Tom's never welded before in his life. Um, and we're gonna give him the machine, see what he can do with it, and just to prove how easy it is. So there we have it, Tom's first weld on our fibre laser welding machine. Um, I think it's pretty safe to say that's, that's a really good weld for its first attempt. Very little heat affected zone, good penetration, and uh, just goes to show how easy it is. Hold well on, Tom. Thank you. As with everything, there's got to be some drawbacks. So what are the disadvantages of, the, of welding with laser welding? One of the problems that we've found so far is your panels or your parts have to be quite closely fitting. Laser doesn't really like gaps. It won't fill a gap quite like a MIG will. So uh, it's not very tolerant of poorly fitting components. Another slight disadvantage with laser welding is uh, you've got some fairly sensitive opt optics in, in the laser head itself. It's not quite as durable as a MIG welder that you, one of your welders can just throw on the bench when it's finished. So you just need to take a little bit of extra care with this head. Now the other disadvantage that we found is this is an advantage as well as a disadvantage, but because of the level of de-skilling that's involved with laser welding, um, some people won't like it because they see that it's taking away craftsmanship from the process. So that's it for laser welding for now. Um, we're going to be producing some more videos on other aspects of the system shortly. And uh, stay tuned for some more information.